back to a place much simpler than this Cause after all the party Hi guys, it's Erby here and in today's video I'll show you guys how to make that effect absolutely for free in DaVinci Resolve. The only plugins you will have to have for this tutorial is the Sapphire plugins and the Universe plugins. And in the description I will leave a link to a Google Drive folder where I will leave a sound effect, an overlay and the preset we will be using. So download all of that and now basically we can get right into the tutorial. So the first step is actually to time map the clip and then we are going to sync it up. But we are going to time map it in a special way. How to time map the clip in this special way is press on it, press Ctrl R, the read time. Controls will pop up and then with your arrow keys you need to find the first frame, the numbers are fully built. So here is the first frame, they are fully built, press on the arrow as beat point. Then you need to go to the left and find the first frame we see the shotgun. For me it's right here, so here no shotgun and here we see a shotgun. So press on the arrow, add speed point. And now we are gonna right click on the clip and open recount curve and press on the arrow right here. You maybe need to zoom in to see that arrow, but when you see it, press on the arrow and untick everything besides the retain speed. So retain speed is the only thing left. Then you press on the line and these two keyframes will already be there. So what we are gonna do now, we can zoom in a bit, we are gonna find the frame where the pullout animation is done. So here we see it is animating, it's pulling, pulling out, but here the animation is done. So what we are gonna do, we add the, the key from right there by pressing this thing. Then we are gonna drag this big space down to 35%. So right here. Then this part right here we are gonna drag up to 300%. Then we can zoom out a bit so we can see better and it should look like this. And it will not be synced at all but we can add some slow-mo. This 50% and drag it shorter. And it should look like this. Now we are basically done with the time mapping so we can press Ctrl R again to go out of the rhythm controls and then press on this thing up here so to go out of the rhythm. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna find the frame again where the numbers are fully built. So right here, press M on that, that will put down a marker. Then we'll go over to the song and find the beat we want the kill to happen on. So I want it to happen here, so I'll, I already put it down a marker right there. But you just do the same thing, you press on the song and mark the beat by pressing M on your keyboard. And then turn on this magnet tool and drag it and it should be really easy for you to just put these two marks in a straight line. Now we can make it the clip as long so it fits the whole yes base. So what we're gonna do now we can basically take the overlay I left in the description and drag it over like this and now we'll take away the black in the background by just pressing the fusion tab and pressing the clip. Press control space and search up luma here and this should pop up. Press on it and press add and it should disappear automatically. And now we should see like this. And now we're gonna split this overlay, the last one we can see the hands. So here we can't see the hands anymore. Here we can see a little bit but here we can't. So we'll just press Ctrl B right there and split the rest. Delete the rest. And we should see something like this. But the overlay is a little bit too slow, but we are gonna fix that right now. Press on the overlay, press Ctrl R, press on the arrow, and you can make it 200 if you want, but I usually make it to 150. I found that that's the best. Now, as we said, these two markers are where the kill happens. So we're gonna make so the overlay ends right there by just dragging and having this magnet tool on. Then we can go out of speed. And we should see this pretty cool animation. What we are gonna do now, we're gonna again press on the clip, press Ctrl R so we can see the recount control again. And then we see that the snowman starts here and the kill happens here. So what we are gonna do, we're gonna drag an adjustment clip and made, make it so it starts right here. Then we are gonna go and make it so it ends right on the kill by just pointing right there. Control B and deleting the rest. Then we can actually disable the overlay by just pressing B. Then press on the adjustment clip. Go to the fusion tab and in the description I will leave a preset that you just need to drag and drop right here. What you're gonna do now is just connect it. Press smaller to medium out and medium one to quadrant. 
So now basically we are done. It looks pretty good actually. Now we go to the FX. If you press on clip, we should see like a little white uh, triangle boxy thingy. We're gonna drag that and make it so it maybe goes uh, one fifth, like something like this. You can play around with it yourself. You can. But make sure the animation is fully done when the hands pop up. So something like this maybe. You need to play around it yourself. Then I like to go to the last frame where the kill happens and the last frame we see the effect and go three frames to the left. So one, two, three. And drag this end to two so it's easier and disappears slowly. And it just makes the whole effect much smoother. But now we're gonna make the sort of kill effect so when the overlay has have done its work and the kill have happened then we're gonna just drag an adjustment clip and make it start where the kill happens we're gonna press and press and go to inspector and then we go to open effect and search up light race this is built in in the venture soul effect so we just drag it on this adjustment clip and this should pop up what we're gonna do now is press on fx in the inspector and here you basically can play around with everything i usually drag it up to maybe 0 0.350 key from it and that then you go 20 frames to right so 20 right here and key from it again and drag it all the way to one or thousand i don't know what you call it if you want you can play around with the yeah how long this should be like maybe i think this looks pretty good soft and usually i have a little bit like 0 0.045, something like that. Brightness, you can make it a little brighter when you look fire. So basically the only thing that's left to do is to add the sound effect. So basically how to do that is just drag and drop the sound effect. But this sound effect will be pretty long, but our clip is, isn't that long. But we can make it a little bit quieter and we'll make it just so it ends where the kill happened about here. And it should look like this. So make sure we can see if you zoom in that where the audio starts make sure that where it gets a little bit louder that the overlay has already started so here it gets a little bit louder and here it's loud so we want it to be at the end it should be as loudest but yeah that's basically it you can make it quieter you make can make it louder do whatever you want but that's basically it if you enjoyed the video drop a like drop a sub and if you get 30 likes on this video, I'll do more over editing tutorial for DaVinci Resolve. But that's basically it. Bye guys!